So in this practical exam, we are tasked to perform a series of connection for this circuitry. So to determine what we're gonna need for the lap volt sim, so we're gonna look at the components here. So first we have the voltage source, and then we have the DC motor, the generator, and then we have the transformer windings, and also we have series of voltmeter and ammeter. So we have to use DACI. So we're going to use LV sim. So we're going to we're going to find the components needed. So we have the DC motor, and then we'll find the power supply, and also the DACI. So we're going to zoom in. So based on the connection here. So we start from the power supply and then from the positive terminal of I1, then it goes through here, the DC motor in the armature part, which is the one, two side, and then going back to the negative terminal of our voltage source. So let's go back from the positive terminal. Let's change color first. So from the positive terminal, down to i1 so since i1 has no value so we'll just put it there then the negative terminal will go through the armature of the dc motor and then the two here will go to the negative terminal here so next we're going to connect the voltmeter part the E1. So since this is parallel to the armature, so what we're going to do is we need to connect this one to the E1 side. And then from the negative terminal down to E2 side. Alright. Oh, let's not forget to put the power input, to connect the power input to its outlet. All right. So, so in this junction, since it, it is parallel to our armature here, so we're going to connect the armature one here to five. It's a shunt motor. So this is the shunt winding motor and this is the generate or the rheostat part so the shunt the rheostat so six seven and as you can see the eight part here goes through the positive terminal i2 positive terminal i2 and then the negative terminal will go through that two here in the uh, DC motor so this is the connection so from this one so this is from the voltage source and connect it from the to the negative terminal down to the armature and then we connect its parallel counterpart so the E1 here will connect from here and here in the armature and this junction also 5 6 7 8 then goes to i2 and then go through here so that's it 